Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics and statics. We're going to work our final problem that deals with the dot product. It's not really any more complicated uh, than what we've done before, but we're just getting practice with different ways of handling it. Basically, we have a three-dimensional problem like this. The blue lines you can think of sort of as a pipe, so you have some pipe going straight up the z-axis, and then the pipe continues on parallel to the y-axis, kind of forming this dogleg looking thing here. Um, and then attached to the end of the pipe, I have a rope that's pulling with a force of 400 newtons off in that direction. Now, what direction is that direction? In this particular problem, we did not give you the force in terms of its IJK components, the vector components, but what we did give you is that relative to the end of the pipe, you have some angles here. Now, these angles are really enough to fully describe and characterize which direction this rope is actually pointing, so telling us which direction the force is pointing. The way that I'm trying to draw it here in three dimensions is basically the angle from the rope down to the plane, to the XY plane, you can see that's how kind of have the XY plane dotted in here. That angle from the rope down to the plane is 45 degrees. Notice that there's this kind of this diagonal line here. This would be the projection on the rope down into this plane. Now from that projection, it's 30 degrees down kind of swinging out towards you to get you to basically to be what's parallel to the uh, to the y-axis there. So these two guys, this is more like what you would see in calculus, you know, um, because in calculus to describe a vector, typically you have uh, an angle from the vector to the z-axis and then another angle from the projection in the xy plane down towards another axis. And that's basically what we've got going on here. So this, these two angles are going to be to enough uh, even though they look a little non-standard, they're going to be enough to describe which way this vector is pointing. So we, we're going to be able to, to um, formulate that vector. And then we have some uh, dimensions here telling us how everything else is laid out. What I want to do is find the magnitude of this force parallel to this pipe BC. Notice it says BC. So I want to find out how much of the force lies along parallel to the pipe and also how much perpendicular to the pipe. This is fairly easy to, to visualize. If I have a pipe sticking up out of the ground like that and I tie a rope to it and I pull obliquely on it, some of the force is going to be transmitted parallel to the pipe, kind of dragging it this way. And some of the force, because of the angle of the rope here, is going to be trying to pull it perpendicular. Those two together make up this oblique direction here. Okay. So first focus on trying to find how, how much of this force, the magnitude of it, how much of the 400 newtons lies along the pipe BC. So much as we've done before, basically what you're seeking to say is that the force along the direction BC or along the pipe BC is going to be equal to the vector that the vector